everybody today I wanted to talk about token approvals it seems like a lot of you guys are having an issue there so I really wanted to go over it because it's a pretty important aspect of crypto in general and it is a pretty good thing to know how to navigate when using our assets and maybe assets of another collection so to check your approvals you can go on ethereum you can go to etherscan.io and then you can go check your token approvals this just has the ones associated with this wallet and then you can also go to polygon scan to see them on polygon there are uh, block explorers for each respective chain and they should have something akin to this available as well so the main thing here that you're going to want to see is so like with our collection say you're trying to pledge loca you come over here you go to pledge um, with me i could do eight loca it'll go through because i have it but say it gives you an error right here maybe it gives you half an eth worth of gas or maybe more maybe an eth or two eth so if you see that that is actually an error due to your approval or the gas limit um, depending on which one that pops up um, if it is an approval you can go just to the token approvals on etherscan if you've already approved it but if you haven't and like for some reason the site's being weird or you just wanted to double check you can actually go to the token itself so for this example this is loca on ethereum if you wanted to approve this for a specific um, contract to spend it for instance you would just come over here to write and then you would connect like uh, you do on any contract interactions and then you go to approve so here's where you see your spender address and the amount the spender address is going to be the contract that you allow to spend it so in this case it would be the pledging contract which i, I will link down below um and then you would put the amount you're trying to pledge and then you would click right and then after you do that um it'll pop up a metamask transaction here for you and it once it goes through then this contract um that you're approving which in this case is the pledging contract would be able to spend that so if you're trying to do it for dst to breed you could go directly to the dst contract and go over here to write and then approve the contract that spins it so there is one that spins each within our breeding contract um the oxce97 and then it ends in e485 is actually the one that spins dst so for our dst approval if we were trying to come in here and increase our spin limit for our breeding we would come in and we would put this contract here in the spender and then whatever the amount would be which i think i would need to be near five thousand now and then it gives this permission to withdraw it and so it'll pop it up here whenever you do go to spend it and then you can put in your five thousand because all you're trying to do is get the prompt for the right contract and then once you do that then we can come over here to the token approvals and refresh it and then boom 5000 dst and that's all there really is to it i appreciate you guys sticking around i'll see you guys next time